Okay, this is translation of the Ananta Padmanab Mandir Kata of Gurudev. So he's sitting, he's sitting, he was sitting and then he started doing tapasya. Who? Brahma. Then in his heart, Bhagavan manifested all the tattoo in his heart. So, Bhagavan also stays in our hearts in the form of Chaita Guru, the Guru in the heart, Paramatma, and gives all also instructions of the Shastras to us, um, all the Tathagyan instructions. So, also in Bhakti Rasamta Sindhu explains, Shilara Pagoswami describes that the Guru gives mercy in three ways to the devotees. Hardik, Bachik, and Alokdan. Hardik means that the Guru will manifest all the tattva in the heart of the devotee. Not directly, but by by his heart, like from his, from the heart. So also Krishna in the form of Chaita Guru. Guru is in everyone's heart in the form of Paramatma. So he gives teachings. So if we do hard us if we do hard austerities, like hard service, then we'll be able to attain the mercy of Guru. So that's why also, uh, like Brahma, also he did tap, like tapasya koro, like do austerities. Then Brahma, he did the hard austerities, he started doing hard austerities, and all the tatta manifested in his heart. Then he told, Krishna told, Hey Brahma, your heart, you have Rajaguna, like mo mode of passion, so you should create. Listen, Harikata. Do create. So in the Brahma Samhita also describes how so Brahma started doing hard austerities. So the sound clean. Clean, the sound clean, God manifesting the heart of Brahma, the sound clean. Then Brahma told, what should, what should I do? Then Lord told, first you should create. Then Brahma started creating. So there are the 14 kinds of also elements. And also the five elements, everything. So the story is very big, very long. So in the Bhagavatam, all this is described, and then these four main, like Lord manifested the four original verses of the Bhagavata in the heart of Brahmaji. The four, like, um, root shlokas of Bhagavata, Chatu Shloki Bhagavata. Then the Brahm Brahma came also, described this Harikata. So that's why the name of the deity Ananta Padmanabha, Jai. So the father of Brahma. The father of the world. So his father. Bhagavan Anantma Padmanabha Ki Jai. Thank you. So another video. This is Varahana. Okay, this is another temple, Adivaraha. I think also he gave. Yes. Hey, Ravan, itne balasali hai. So now temple of Varahadev. Oh wait, he was speaking before. I think he's speaking here then. Okay, Unka Badakia. 
और पृथ्वी देव को इस जगत में स्थापन किया तो ये वो आदि बरा है नीचे जो श्वेत बरा है प्राचीन काल से जब मथुरा धाम का स्थापना हुआ तो उस समय लक्ष्मण जी ने इनको लेकर के आए और यहीं पर उन्होंने स्थापना करके इसी नगरी को But you forget to tell one thing. So the story is like this. There was a Brahman called Kapil. And he used to serve this Baraha. And one day, seeing this beautiful deity, Indra took, snatched from this Brahman and took to Devaloka, to the demigod place. And then Ravana was so powerful that Ravana, he defeated the demigods and Ravana took this deity and established the deity in Lanka. And after that, Bhagavan Ramachandra, when he went to rescue Sita, he killed the Ravan and after killing Ravana, so he put a Bibhishana city in the Asan of our king. And then Vibhishana said, I don't want anything. Okay, so uh, Ramachandra made Vibhishana the king after the, the death of Ravan. And then what happened? Um, Vibhishan wanted to give some gifts to Lord Ramachandra and Ramachandra told um, eh, like I don't want anything but then Vibhishan gave to Lord Ram that deity of Varaha which was with Ravana before when he was alive. So Vibhishan gave this deity as a gift to Ramachandra and this deity Ramachandra brought to Ajodhya, Ayodhya and then Sita Devi herself of, uh, serves this deity and then after some uh, demon called Lavanasur he started creating a chaos like a havoc in Mathura and all the rishis they came to Bhagavan Ramachandra and started praying to him hey Prabhu please Protect us from this demon, this Lavanasur. Lavanasur, he had one trident obtained by, uh, from Lord Shiva. And he had so much strength when he was using this trident. So, how to kill him? Okay, so that uh, trident of uh, of uh, Shiva was already in with two, by, um, for two generations, it was in the family of this demon, Lavanasur. So how to kill him? Then... So Shatrugna at that time he told to Bhagavan Ramachandra because, because Lakshman was saying oh Prabhu I go there and I kill this demon but Shatrugna came like and told to Lord Ram oh Lakshman already he served you so much already Bharata told I will go but Shatrugna told oh my brother already they served you so much already especially my brother Lakshman already served you so much but I couldn't get the chance to serve you so please give me this 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 like give me this opportunity of service then uh, Ram Chandra Lord Ram Chandra told okay go so Ramachandra told to Shatrugna like everything what he should do like this like to kill this demon and and told look but when Shatrugna was going, then also he was feeling so much separation of, he would feel now, and he was already started feeling so much separation of from Lord Ramachandra. Then Ramachandra gave this deity of Varaha to Shatrugna. So this Varaha we are seeing here in this temple, Adi Varaha. So Ramachandra gave to Shatrugna. Shatrugna came to Mathura and established this deity here in Mathura. So 
So that's why also we have the darshan of Shatrugna Gopal, another deity nearby. And Bhagavan. So what happened, Lord Ramachandra, he put Raj Tilak, like, like Tilak of a king in the head of Shatrugna, like making like coronation of Shatrugna, the king of Mathura. And he told, from now on I make you the king of Mathura. So all this kata is here. Later we'll, we'll listen more Hari kata. So nearby also we have the Darshan of Dwarakadish. I just now put the other video of the next temple they went. I mean, I don't know, sorry, the order they went to because I'm just, I'm not following the next, maybe the order they did. Oh my God. But then another temple they've gone to. I'm sorry, my computer is like crashing, so it's so slow. I'm sorry for the delay to open the video. Ah, Dirga Vishnu Gurudev didn't speak then. Somebody told me he spoke at Dirga Vishnu, I think. One sec. I thought he had spoken there. I think this is already we're done. This is in the temple of Anand Padmanab. We did from the other video. Yeah, this is already we're done in the beginning of this live. It is the temple of Anand Padmanab. So, during the Madura Mandala Parikrama. Now we've came to the place of Ananta Padmanab. Because his name is like this, Ananta Padmanab, this deity, because from his lotus uh, navel, Brahmaji appeared. From his lotus navel, Brahma appeared, no, it was from his lotus navel from the lotus, coming from his lotus navel. So one, no, one name of Lord is Ananta. Ananta means somebody who has no end, unlimited. 
So Lord Brahma appeared from his lotus navel, from a lotus from his navel. And Brahma saw there was only water everywhere. And then Brahmaji thought, why did I manifest? So he was thinking so much. And Brahmaji could only see water, water everywhere. And then Brahma was thinking, where have I come from? Then, then he went, to the, he was, then Brahma was going uh, like a swimming, like say like this, to the base of the lotus, following the steam of the lotus, trying to see the, where was the root, but he could not find the end of it. Then he again came back up and he sat on the lotus and he thought, what should I do? And then he heard from the alphabets, the sound ta and pa, like tipi. Like tap, tap, tap. Like he was thinking, he understood, like, okay, do austerity, tapas, tapas. Then he sat and he started doing austerities. Then Bhagavan himself gave all the tata in his heart. So Bhagavan, he is in our hearts as like Chaita Guru. It's like the Guru in the heart, and he gives us all these instructions in our hearts. <laughs> I'm so sorry by this mistake, but from here I was already translating the beginning because the other video just started from here. So, so just you can see the beginning of this live now. I just translated the rest of this two, three minutes. Good, they spoke more. And okay, so Anand Padmanab done, and another place Good, they spoke. It's here, I think. Oh yeah, this already we done also from the other video. This is in the place Adi, Kesh, Adi Varaha. Okay, this also we done from the other video, Adi Varaha. But now, okay, only now missing one place. Gurudev spoke at Adi Keshav Temple. So now we go to this other video where this life is there. Okay, now Adi Keshav. Yes. Here, something? I think not. Okay, so Adi Keshav. So Gurudev spoke at Ananta Padmanab, Temple, Adi Varaha, and Adi Keshav. And Dirga Vishnu, there was Sarikata, but Gurudev did not speak. Alright? So. So now Kata at the Adikeshav. First of all, my wishes to my Guru Pad Padma. Until the previous time, Shno Padas to Tarashad Shila Bhatti Vinachila Bhamana Gusmi Maharaj. Until the previous time, Shno Padas to Tarashad Shila Bhatti Vinanta Shila Narayan Gusmi Maharaj. To the lotus feet, my unlimited Dandavat pronouns I offer. And also after that, my wishes to so, Until the previous time, Om Shno Pad. Nossos Prabhu de Charan Shila Narasim Maharaj, Lamadav Maharaj, Paramasam Maharaj. Shirishkesh Maharaj, and also all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So, doing the Bajmanu Parikrama of 84 crushes, 
we're also near in Mathura. So the place where we've come is the temple of Adikeshav. So the glo his glory is, is so amazing this, of this deity. This deity you're having darshan now. This deity. So the great grandson of Krishna, Vajranab, manifested this deity. So this deity until nowadays is served. So the name of this deity is Adikeshav. So just like Krishna is Anadi Radir Govinda. So in the same way, Adikeshav. So Keshav means, so there are 12 months. One of these 12 months name is Keshav also. In, according to Hari Bhakti Vilas, So when Mahaprabhu was describing to Sanatana Goswami his avatars, this is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita, what happened? So Krishna, sorry, uh, Mahaprabhu described Keshav. So also Keshav is one name of the months also of the year. Of the year in the Hindu calendar. Keshav also they called it an, one month. And um, just one second. I'm just trying to see the translation of this month in English. Mm. Yeah, I, sorry, I couldn't find no proper translation. So, speaking about the avatars of Krishna, uh, Mahaprabhu explained to Sanatana Goswami. So, Keshav is one of the moms. So Keshava means means the control of Brahma and Shiva. So Keshav. Also, there is a very sweet meaning of Keshav also. Krishna is Dirlita Naika and he has four qualities. Prince Sibuta, controlled by his beloved. Nishintata, always free from any worries. Navatarunya, always ever fresh, beauty, and young. And Vidagdata, this is the speciality of Krishna. So, because Krishna is so expert in the then here of Shmati at the banks of Jamuna in Shingarvat, for example. Okay, now I found the name of the month of Keshav.
कैसा नाम है अब ग्रहण मास के जो है केशव मास का है केशव मास कहा जाता है केशव शब्द की अर्थ जो है अतीव सुंदर जो ब्रह्मा शिव आदि के जो ईश्वर कंट्रोलर है जिसमें उसमें कहा जाता है केशव कहा जाता है और केशव शब्द की श्रृंगार रस का माधुर्य रस के दक्षा के अनुसार सो केशव ऑफ देयर इज अ वेरी स्वीट मीनिंग धीरलीत नायक धीरलीत नायक में विशेष करके जो चार कृष्ण इज धीरलीत नायक प्रेशी पुष्पता So he's controlled by his beloved. Okay, so the month of Keshava is November, December, and November, beginning of December. So. Krishna, because he's controlled by his beloved, in Vrindavana, Krishna is near the banks of Jamuna, in the Shingar Vat, and Krishna is ornamenting the hair of Shimati Radka. That's why his name is Keshav, because he's decorating her hair. Krishna, because he's a Dhirulita Nayak, and also how he indicates to the gopis how they will meet where they will meet so krishna sometimes he starts like caressing his own hair like you know putting his hand again and again on his hair and like this krishna is indicating to the gopis today where will i meet you in the keshava kunja so in vrindavan a name of a kunja is keshava kunja so this keshava kunja Krishna indicates to the gopis they will meet with he will meet with them there. Sometimes Krishna is like moving some green leaf, and then the gopis understand. Oh, we will meet Krishna at Hari Kunja, green Kunja. So Vishwanath Chakravarti Pada, in book Shri Krishna Bhavanamrita, describes all this. So, to, in remembering of these li lilas, the great grandson of Krishna Vajranath manifests this beautiful deity, Adikeshav. And also another thing, Mahaprabhu. So, so Mahaprabhu came here also remembering these lilas and dancing, raising his arms, jumping. Especially when Mahaprabhu was in Navadvipa and he was known as Nimai. And everybody knew him as Nimai Pandit. So Mahaprabhu was doing his Vidya Vilas, his pastimes like learning. And Krishna, uh, Mahaprabhu used to defeat even great scholars at that time. And the king of Bengal at that time was Subudirai. And he had one. He had one one minister called Hussein Sa. But Hussein Sa did something that he had to be punished. And then he had to be punished with life uh, death sentence. You know, everybody was saying you have to punish him, Maharaj, with death sentence. But Subhudirai had so much love, uh, love and affection to Hussein Sahad, like a brother. So the king told, he's a recipient of my affection. So how can I give him death sentence? And the ministers told, okay, do one thing. So you do one thing, take one whip and, and like make three whips. Why? How do you say? You know, beat him with a whip three times on his back. You know, like this, as a punishment. Then, and and some mark was in his was in his back. But you know, time is so powerful, and everything changes with time. So what happened? One day, 
You are a king, another day you become even a beggar. So this is the nature of Lord. So you not be with in the same position all the time. You know, the rich person becomes a beggar, a beggar becomes rich. So by the influence of time, Rusen Saha became the king. And when he sat in the throne, being the king, so his wife, I now forgot the name of his wife. So her, his wife was uh, massaging him with oil. Then she saw three marks on his back. And then she told, why do you have these three marks, like three scars on your back? Did somebody hit you, like beat you? Then Hussam Saha said, there's nothing. But the lady, his wife, was insisting. And he, she told, tell me, tell me. No, because the ladies are so much stubborn sometimes, isn't it? So, so she told. Sorry, he told. When I was the minister of Subudirai, I did something wrong, and because of that, I should be punished. But he did not give me this punishment, and he just uh, uh, hit me uh, with a whip three times. Then his wife told him, but you must now then take revenge from him, his wife told. What? Why? So the wife told you should give him death pen penalty now. But Hussein Saha told, how can I give him death sentence? I was the one who did something bad in the first place. And... He always had affection with me, just like a brother. But his wife was insisting that he would give some chastisement to him. So what he did, Hussein Saha took... So you know, the Muslims, they have some kind of water pot where they take water like this, is one special pot they have. So the wife told, okay, you maybe can change his case. So especially at that time in Bengal and Orissa, that time there was so much importance to Jati, to the case. So so they have so the Muslims, they have some lorta, some water pot, that when they go to the bathroom to clean themselves, they use this water pot. So, so they wanted to put this, uh, let this water touch the Subudirai, then like this, being touched by the water of the Muslims, his case will be changed, would change. So that time in Bengal and Orissa, these jatis, like this case, was so much giving emphasis to Everybody used to consider so much about the Jati. Like, for example, Shudra, Brahmana, Muslim. Too much. It was so much strong, this caste system at that time. And people could even destroy your caste. And if you your caste was destroyed or like changed, they make you change your caste by something like this. Like they destroy you, like they make you come out of your caste, then it's like death for that person. So. Hussein Saha, what did he do? He, so this pot that the Muslims use when they go to the toilet, Hussein Saha took this water and made him drink this water from this water pot that they use in the latrine. And all the society of Hindus rejected him then, from then on. And so they told now you your case is destroyed. So you cannot you cannot even go anywhere else in society. So like this. So Subudirai King was so upset. Then he called the Panditas and asked, What can I do for atonement? So great Panditas came and told once one told, Maybe you should drink drink the hot ghee. 
and then in this way you'll be purified. So what is the meaning? If you drink hot ghee, you, you will die because your your tongue will be burned and you'll die. Another person told. So any different people they were giving advice to him. Then Subhudirai came to Mahaprabhu and told, "What should I do?" Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told. Only way to purify is to Namsankirtan, through Namsankirtan. So Mahaprabhu told him, go to Mathura and chant holy names. So only by chanting through the chanting of holy names, the jiva can be purified completely. So getting the instruction of Mahaprabhu, Subhudirai did that, and Mahaprabhu also gave another instruction to Subhudirai. So you stay in Mathura near the Janama Bhumi, the place of birth of Krishna, and do bhajan in the Adi Keshav, like in this deity of near this deity of Keshav, which there is in Mathura. So. <laughs> Mahaprabhu told to, to Subhudirai, the devotees of Bengal, when they travel, you know, the Bengali devotees, they always they have two things, and in this way you can recognize the Bengali devotees for two things. When the Bengalis, they take shower, bath, before they put some oil in their body. They put the mustard oil in their body, the Bengali people, especially in the in the navel, in the on the heads, on the heads. So you can recognize Bengalis for it for two things. The Bengalis, when they go for bathing, surely they will apply some oil in their body, mustard oil. They will certainly apply on their body, in their navel, in their eyes, in the nose, on the heads, like, and also on the feet. So without oil, the Bengalis cannot survive. Saying like this, like they cannot. They always have oil. So um, Mahaprabhu told to Subhudarai, "You have to arrange the oil for the Bengalis. Arrange Bengali uh, the oil for all the Bengalis who come." And another thing, the Bengalis they eat rice, like for example, bhatro. Bhat means rice also. So, so the Vrajavasis, they forgot how they used to eat rice. Nowadays, Vrajavasis say that only Bengalis eat rice. But this is not true. The Vrajavasis also used to eat rice. Even in time of Krishna. Krishna himself used to eat rice. The Bhagavatam has evidence. Until nowadays, you go to Bhatra. You know, bat means rice. So we go to Batro until nowadays. So, so Mahaprabhu told, arrange these two things for the Bengali devotees. Mustard oil and also rice for them. So, Muri. Yeah, but I don't know if that time was also Muri, but yeah, they also eat Muri. So yeah, maybe that time there was Muri in Braj or not, Balavrindavan Bihari Lal. But Subhadirai so, started staying here. And where was he getting money? So he used to go to the forest and he used to take some firewood. You know, this dry wood, firewood in the forest. And he was he used to sell this. And then he used to get money from this. And then he used to serve the devotees of Bengal when he used to come here. So Shastra explains. So we also have the darshan here and so remember this Leela because Mathura is such a place. Mathura is the only door for Vrindavan. In Brihad Bhagavatam the book Sanatana Goswami explains. If you go to Vrindavan, so Santana Goswami told.
So Subodhira used to do his bhajan here and, and serve the devotees of Bengal. All the devotees used to come, he used to serve him, them. And the Shasta describes all this kata. So how Subodhira was here? And he used to take do darshan here, take have the darshan here and remembering the lilas of Adi Keshav and doing bhajan. Mathura is such a place that Mathura is the only door for going to Vrindavan. In the Brihad Bhagavatam Tabuk, Shlasanatana Goswami describes, if you go to Vrindavan, Vrindavan Ishwari will not give you mercy. The only way to go to Vrindavan is Mathura. Sorry, without the mercy of Mathura Devi, nobody can enter Vrindavan. So, in the story of Gop Kumara, in Bihar Bhagavatam Amrita, so the Devi told to the Brahman of Mathura, You are from Mathura, but you have to pray from you have to pray to the Mathura Devi. But, so I'll tell you, even though you are from Brahmana, sorry, even though so this Devi told to the Mathura Brahmana, she told him, although you are from Mathura, I tell you that you have to go to the Vishram Ghat and also you have to go to the temple of Mathura Devi and ask for her blessings. Then you can enter Vrindavan. So the story like this, so this is the glory of this place, so much, these glories. So I do my pranam to here and to Keshava Dev. And today also we will go to Mathura Devi and we will pray to her. So from 7 to 11th November, we will go to Vrindavan. So this is the process of going to Vrindavan. Getting the mercy, praying for the mercy of Mathura Devi. This is the speciality. Jai.